Here's a look at the winter weather advisories again, not included for Walworth, Racine or Kenosha County or Jefferson County. Everywhere else, though, winter weather advisory starting tomorrow at noon, continuing until noon on Sunday. That is just again, the brunt of it's going to fall Saturday afternoon through Sunday morning. This is the uh, little bringer of all the snow. This warm front right here bring a little bit of snow to Iowa as that warm front swings through. It'll spark off a few snowflakes overnight, mainly around midnight. This is not the main event, though. We're going to get a little bit of a break. If you see any snow overnight tonight, just a dusting. Then tomorrow morning, we're starting off dry with plenty of cloud cover. Notice snow to our north that will start to expand southward as the day wears on. So expect to see the snow a little earlier up in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County. That's also where we're going to see the higher snow totals as we go throughout your Saturday afternoon. Again, the heaviest snow expected and then we get into your Sunday morning on the back side of this storm system. We have a slight chance for a little lake enhancement. Overall, not going to be a big lake of effect snowstorm for us, but still snowing at 7 o'clock on Sunday morning by the middle of the day, though, by about 1 o'clock. All of us will be looking at drier skies. The winds are going to start to kick up, but high pressure going to bring us some clearing skies even into Sunday afternoon, so you may even see a few peaks of sunshine before Super Bowl Sunday kickoff, but the winds going to create potential for some blowing snow. So again, how much or when are we talking snow? Just a trace overnight tonight. Better chance between noon and noon as we go Saturday and into Sunday. Two to five inches of snow. Blowing snow will become more of an issue throughout the day on Sunday as those winds start to kick off. 15 to 20 miles an hour could see some wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. That could reduce visibilities down below mile at times, mainly Saturday night and into Sunday morning. And that's also when we're expecting a few slick spots on the roadway. So just take it easy, especially if you're headed out to those Super Bowl parties. Blowing snow and some of those slippery spots may be a bit of an issue. How much snow are we talking? Generally two to five inches of snow. The heavier bands basically from Milwaukee, Waukesha County northward, three to five inches there could see a little bit closer to five, maybe six inches for parts of Ozaki and much of Sheboygan County with the potential for some of that lake enhancement. Lighter amounts down to the south. We're seeing Kenosha County, uh, Walworth County, more like one to three inches of snow. That's why you're not in the advisory. Same story for Jefferson County. Overnight tonight, watching that warm front roll on in. So 13 degrees, that'll be your temperature closer to 10 p.m. Then temps are actually going to increase overnight tonight, and then they'll be closer to 20 degrees by the start to your Saturday, warming up to the freezing mark. So pretty mild to kick off your Saturday. Snow developing again, moving from the north down to the south. Heavy snow Saturday afternoon into the evening hours. Then that will all be wrapping up on Super Bowl Sunday. 22 degrees, but as that snow comes to an end, those winds are going to be kicking up, and that could kick up some of the snow as well. So blowing snow may be an issue on Sunday, even after the snow has stopped by about the 1 o'clock hour. Behind all that, the cold air pushes right back in. 18 on Monday, some snow Monday night and into Tuesday, and more snow chances Thursday and Friday. So snow lovers, you've got a chance this month. Well, you know, you a lot of people do. Now. Yeah. <laughs>